Can I open them? Open, open. Oh! School teachers in Brazil, don't watch this one. It's, it's, it's weird. Okay, welcome back. Oh, I better take off my old man glasses and shit. Okay, oh yeah, here we go. Oh. Hi, my name is Baba. I am from both the Netherlands and from the UK. I'm Eti and I'm from Mexico. And I'm Enrique and I'm from Mexico too. I'm very happy to be here, my friend. And of course, you are like, you, there is no need for introductions. Everybody in this channel knows you. But in case there's someone new, mm. please tell us, who are you? I am Fergus, I am 79 years old, <laughs> and I'm a Capricorn. What the hell? And I'm here to try some delicious food. Any idea what's coming today? No idea, no clue. <laughs> I don't want to say anything yet, because if it's soup, I might have to eat my words and the soup, but I wouldn't <laughs> mind eating some soup. <laughs> this is what it's called. Melado de cana? Yeah. Melado de cana. Mm -hmm. Melado de cana. Melado de cana. Very good. Where to learn your Portuguese from? I've been, I've been practicing a little bit, this yeah. tiny bit. Yeah. No, it's a lie. I have not been <laughs> I've not been practicing. Okay, so what is this um, lovely specimen of a thing that I'm going to be trying? I don't even know if it's a drink or a food or a toy or a, maybe a duvet, a shower gel. So that's it, ice cream? Mm, no. 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 Uh, and Spanish. Spanish is helado. There you go. <sighs> Do I close my eyes? Do I like open it? Do I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. okay, I'm gonna keep them closed. <laughs> okay, you can open them. Can I open them? Open, open. Oh, okay. This is it. Okay. A spoon each? Thank yes, you. thank you. See, because I didn't have my glasses on, I just <laughs> I just see this bit of pink and I thought it was like <laughs> fucking Peppa Pig or something. <laughs> Eu gosto disso. É muito adult. I have obviously no idea what it says. It. It feels like a like a very liquidy honey. What the hell am I doing with this thing? Is this Calpol? Is this like six plus? In Ireland, we used to get this cough medicine called Calpol, and it had to be six years old to take it. Oh Jesus! So I don't know if I, I don't think I'm six years old yet. To be honest. <laughs> so because I got a spoon with it, I'm presuming it's very liquidy or very syrupy, actually. Oh, is that, is that it? Is Interesting. Oh, oh wow, that's brown. That's what she said. It's honey. No. I was expecting something different. That's great. Really? That's great. Mmm. The first thing that springs to mind is just like, this is honey, but also it's not honey. It's like very sweet. It's first like sweet. Like it tastes something like between sweet, but also like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. That's suspicious. That's weird. Oh, oh, it didn't hit that well this time. I would recommend just about two be maximum. So what is it, Mazinia? There's only one ingredient there. Oh God, this is... <laughs> and even if I can try to read it, Kana? It's Kanya? Um, what's Kanya? I do like it. I'm gonna have a little bit more. Okay, sorry, te school teachers in Brazil. I've actually got messages off people in, in Brazil who are school teachers and they watch some of our videos. Don't watch this one, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's kind of a fruit bowl where sugar actually comes from. Ah, sugar cane. That's it. Sugar cane, yeah. yeah. That's it. So that's almost like a sugar cane syrup. Sugar cane juice. So you reduce the sugar cane juice yeah. until it gets really thick like that. Okay. And then that's the melado. So it's an alternative to honey that we use in Brazil. It's vegan, obviously, because nice. uh, it comes from sugar cane. And you use ah. it as a substitute for honey. Ah! Yeah. So it's like candarelle sweetener or something like that, like if you, or like hermesitas. Except that it's natural and vegan, right? And yeah. I'll tell you all the good things that it does for you. It's rich in like iron, calcium, magnesium, copper, potassium. But of course, it's high in calories because it's, it's very yeah. sugary. But it's not like totally sweet. It's not, yeah. Would right. you eat it like to replace honey, for instance? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. And if this is a healthy option, that's okay. Yeah, only about one or two spoonfuls maximum. Other than that, you're going to be getting the insulin needle out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do people like cook with this as well? Yes. Ah, okay. I'm getting like a good taste for it because like it seems like a lot less sticky than actual honey. So like cooking with it will probably be like a lot easier. Have you? Do you know what's the chamoy? Ah, it's like chili, uh, and it it comes like in similar like packages like this. And then we would put chamoy in our fruit or some other other really? stuff. But it's so sweet. 
No, no, no. It's like a bit spicy and sweet. Mm -hmm. This is very, very citric, I would say. Do people also just like have this on a spoon and then just like sipping away? Well, I'd say so. <laughs> if, if they do, you guys are living luxury out there. I need to have this on a spoon and just be... You, you could put this in a coffee maybe or a yeah. tea or yeah. something like that, yeah. I've often seen people put honey into tea or coffee as a replacement for sugar just to yeah. get a bit, and it's actually, the, the texture makes it a little bit more thicker and makes it a little bit more appetizing to your palate. So yeah. you could probably do the same thing. And you could put it like on top of cereals and fruit and replace it uh, in recipes. Like instead of sugar, you can use that. Instead of shampoo, you just put it in your hair. And, you know. Actually, you can, you can put it on your hair. Stop. Yeah, it's true. It's what happened? Really you put this in your hair, it's like. Well. This is genuinely some good stuff. I could probably be like in front of the television eating this on its own, just on its own. Just like, just little by little, just be like, oh, there's an exciting scene. Ooh, ooh popcorn? No thanks. I got melado de cana. Oh my god, what is that? Uh, so I was thinking maybe put it on top of something, like you just said, like honey. Yeah. But uh, for example, I like put honey on, on cereal. And uh, maybe I'm gonna try it on fruit yeah. Uh, yeah. or drinks, but yeah. Could you put like Nothing maybe if you eat, like pancake, put like... No. Mm, no. no. <laughs> I think I'll add this, I'll dip my strawberries in this. Like I feel like if I had like a fresh batch of strawberries, I'd like dip it in have it, I'll probably spread it on my waffles. Like it goes kind of like with very confectionary things, but I'll also probably cook it with some chicken. Oh. Wow, okay. I probably would try that. Cause like I've, I've done honey chicken, it tastes yeah. good. Very interesting. So a score zero to 10? I don't know, like on its own, a six, I would say on its own. I need to try it with something else. It has potential. Fair okay. enough, good. Uh, it's not like completely sweet. So yeah. maybe seven. I'm gonna rate this as like a like an ingredient. Uh, as an ingredient, I think I would rate it a nine. It's versatile. You can eat it on its own. So those are like two great points. You can put it in like nearly any food. It tastes great, and it's not like a must add. Like if you don't like it, you can like easily not have it. So again, just great ingredient. Yeah, nine, nine, nice. easy nine. Anything that's natural is gonna get a big ten. Wow. Of course. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to see me back, just put Volta Baba. Volta Itzi. And Volta Enrique. If people want to see me back, vote outside your local city hall, hold up placards, and have hashtags saying Volta Ross. Just go to your local town hall. And you can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, although I don't post much on TikTok. Don't expect much. It is Baba NR2. And uh, I'm also on Instagram, uh, at talk to Ross. That'd be absolutely wonderful, and of course, I'm part of the E Dublin family. Check us out at E Dublin on Instagram and YouTube too. Subscribe, yeah!